Okay. Okay, welcome back. Uh, in the last video, we talked about making some basic um, edits, some changes to a file, uh, about checking those edits into git as a git commit, and then pushing that commit um, from our local git repository to GitHub. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about um, using git for Java source code, uh, using git with Eclipse, um, and using git with a team. Uh, we may in fact spill over into to other videos with that. It's somewhat ambitious, but that's, that's where we're headed. Um, so I wanted to mention a couple things before we get started. One is that um, in this video, I'm going to construct it pretty specifically to help a um, high school computer science class that I'm working with in Mountain View, California. Uh, so if you're in that class, uh, hopefully this video will work well for you. Uh, if you're not, if you stumbled upon this video in some other way, um, it may still be helpful, but some of it may be sort of oddly specific uh, to what's happening in that class, so I apologize for that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention quickly uh, is that we've been covering in this uh, in these videos the git uh, command line, um, which you'll remember from the earlier videos, where you type a command, you hit enter, git does something, and so on. Um, that's the way that I personally like to use Git, uh, and I think that as a programmer, um, uh, using the command line often helps you to understand um, at a more sort of fundamental level what's going on uh, with the system, and I think that's useful. Um, I do want to mention, though, that there are a lot of graphical tools available for working with Git, and you're welcome to try those out. So for example, uh, you probably already have Git GUI installed uh, from when we installed Git. Um, there are also ways you can use Git directly from within Eclipse uh, as a Git plugin. Uh, many people like those, uh, and we may talk about them in some later video. Uh, for now, I just wanted to mention that they're out there. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get started. So we're going to go back uh, to Git Bash um, and go back to the directory where you have your Git repository. Um, so we can see here, no, OK, we have a readme from before. That's great. Um, now the first thing, um, oh, excuse me, I should back up a little bit actually. Um, for these exercises uh, uh, that we're doing this video and probably the next video or two where we're working with a team, um, you will want to, up front, you will want to designate one team member so that you can use their GitHub repository as the um, the repository where you, you check in all your team's changes. Um, it really doesn't matter who, everybody will have sort of equal rights to, to change things and so on. Um, but it's just important that you do it just in one place. And so at the beginning, we're going to do some things um, that only that one person should do, um, just to create a sort of a starter Java file. And then we'll get back to doing things that everyone on the team should do. So before we go ahead here, you should just pick that person on your team and say, look, we're going to use your your Git repository, uh, and then we'll do just a couple things that are just for that person. And then I'll get back to the to the full team stuff. So for that person's repository only, uh, we want to create just a starter Java file. And then everybody else will um, be able to eventually pull that into their Eclipse, and we'll show you how to do that. Um, so let's, for now, let's forget about Eclipse. We'll just use Notepad. And we'll create a simple file called hello.java. And uh, yes, I would like to create a new file. So we'll say in here public class hello. It doesn't matter too much what you put in here, but it's nice if you have something that can actually run. So in here public static void main string args. Whoops. And in here, you do system.out.println hello git. That's all we need. Um, so again, just one person doing this, um, whoever's repository you want to use. So we'll save that. Exit. OK. Now we're going to do git status. Cool. We will do a git add hello.java
and we'll do a git commit. Uh, da, yes. So then again, um, we can write a message describing this commit. It, it generally pays to take some time to describe things a little bit so that later on you could figure out what happened. Um, and uh, I'll just say initial version of um, hello.java. And oops, prints a friendly message. And we can do, oh, come on, let's see, we can do save. Exit. Right. So that's been committed. Now we should push that. Git push origin master. And type this in. OK. Now, again, for the person whose Git repository you will be using for your project's code, uh, let's just take a look at their GitHub account. And uh, they, so at this point, that person will now, well, first of all, we'll just take a look at hello.java. And then that person will add the other people working on the project as collaborators on their repository <clears throat> so that everyone has the ability to edit the code. So if we go down to the repository, let's see. If we go to this repository, we can see <clears throat> the files, um, which is the first view that we should be in here. Whoa. We now have two files. We had README from before. We now have hello.java. Um, you know, you can take a look at hello.java just like you can for README. Notice that it even highlights the Java syntax in different colors, so that's neat. You know, it sort of knows about Java. Um, and now we say, here we're in our repository. Now we're going to invite other people to collaborate. So let's go to admin. And uh, when this loads up, there should be a place for collaborators. I already invited somebody. Um, so when you come in here, this will probably be empty. So it will look like this. Now you just want to type the GitHub username of your teammates one at a time. So just pick one, uh, click add. Uh, I think I clicked add. Uh, oh, whoops, I see, that's good. I have to pick them, I guess. Okay, so that's one. Um, you know, if you have other team members do this for each, you get to pick one, add, and that's all there is to that. Um, so I think actually we'll leave off this video here. Um, so this is the setup uh, that the one person does, and then in the next video we'll take up the parts that, e that everyone on the team will do uh, to start using this repository for edit editing uh, Java code.